Alright guys, good morning. It is Saturday morning. Uh, I, the fly just got out of bed a little bit ago. The flip is upstairs. So I'm using the 5S to film, which may be a first for the vlog. Uh, it's just after 10 o'clock. Colt's gonna head back to Baltimore. He works in like five and a half hours. And it's usually, for me, about a five and a half hour drive. So he's got his work cut out for him. Driving all the way home, getting home, showering, whatever and then driving to work. So we'll be seeing the 540 very soon, uh, a little bit more than we do now, so stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna go in and get my shower, and then head over to the grandparents' house and do my stuff as we usually do. So talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm driving down, uh, hi, by the way, we just had lunch at Bob Evans. Anyhow, I'm driving down uh, Harriet over there in Silver Lake. This guy comes running out from his house. And I've always noticed this in this house. They have an E, what's the first generation X3? Is that an E83? Or I always get that wrong, E88, something like that, X3. And they have an E60 550i. Um, so he comes running out, he's like waving. So I stop, pull over there on the side street, Silverview or something like that, and I talk to him for five minutes. Uh, knows a lot about the car, nice guy. But it's really cool to have somebody flag me down, you know, just to say nice car. So that was awesome. There's a Phoenix Yellow E46 M3. Check that. Very cool. It is 4.40 p.m. I am home, and uh, this, this week was really interesting. The last three or four weeks in a row, I've done my Monday, Tuesday, work my you-know-what off cutting grass. Monday, I'd do the yards on that side of the street, and then Tuesday, we would do mine, and this one here next door. Well, last Monday, it rained all day. Um, well, it didn't rain all day. It rained all night the night before. It was too wet to mow. So I did that one on Sunday, and then Colt showed up Monday. So I did that one Tuesday, and then I don't know if I did one Wednesday, maybe Thursday I did here. So I'm way behind. Today's Saturday, and I've got to do this one. The grass is high, and there's a lot of oak leaves down. You see that squirrel right there? This is going to be the pain in the ass, because those branches are really low. I'm going to have to go over that like five times to get those leaves bagged. Not bagged, but put in the catcher and the mower, and then dumped back here. So 440. Um, tonight's plans, I don't want to go out to dinner because I've been spending way too much funny, funny on food. Money on food. Yes, Luke, I do sometimes eat at home. I know it's incredible. I know how to use my oven and my toaster now, so that's good news. But I'm thinking I can have this done by 6 at the latest if, if, uh, if the mower works well. Um, we'll get this done. And then I'm done with yards for like two days, and then I've got to start off next week doing that one again. It's already grown quite a bit. 180000 zero, 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 180,000 miles on this car now. That's you know, that's only uh, 50,000 miles short of the moon or so. 50, 60,000 miles short of the moon. Colt's 540 is 233, 300. That was on his way home, maybe close to 233, 400 now. This is a little dirty right now. I've got a lot of carbon on the back. The exhaust is filthy, but it may rain this next week, so my Z6ing once a week may be over. It's going to get dirty and stay dirty for a while, which means that will be coming off. I know Colt will be glad to see that go. A lot of people hate that thing. I, I kind of like it, but I don't want to get it destroyed this winter. So uh, it isn't perfect, but there's no service lights. There's still this little bit of rust here, which will be fixed very soon. Trust me. And, uh, you know, actually, I, I kind of made a mental list of things I want to do things I kind of need to do. That rust, that's going to be the first thing that's fixed on the back of the trunk lid, and they're actually going to repaint this entire segment. There was a bubble here once, and I had the car in there last uh, December. I took it in last December. There was a bubble here, and they redid this whole arch here and painted it. It's perfect. You can't tell. And while he was doing that, he said this bothered him, so he fixed it for free. Now, being a free fix, I can't complain, but the paint doesn't match perfectly here. You can see that he only painted this corner. So while it's in there, he said for the price of just fixing this little blip here, he's going to repaint this entire body line from, you know, the trunk lid, this body line up to where the spoiler hits. So he'll repaint this whole strip 
and of course a body line you won't see any minor uh, color mismatch so uh, I think that's a pretty good deal for about two hundred and you know, it was about three hundred dollars for tax probably so we're gonna get that done there's one uh, two the blower motor inside ever since I've had the car there's only one speed that it operates smoothly at and that speed doesn't really operate smoothly anymore there's a bearing Picture there's a fan blade here, a fan blade here, and a motor in the middle that turns the fan blades at whatever speed you punch in on the HVAC unit, on the, you know, the, the, the fan speed. And uh, it rattles like hell and you move the car around on the road and it's just the fan's going like this. It's all cattywampus and whatnot. So I need a new blower motor. Not a big deal. It's like 250 in parts or something like that, but you got to pull the dash out. And that's when it turns into a big deal. So next time Colt's here and I have money to spend, I'm going to get that done before winter, before, before January 1st we'll have a blower motor. While I'm doing the blower motor, I'm going to do the final stage unit, the FSU. That's pretty cheap. It's only about 70 bucks and that actually makes the fan speed constant. It's an electronics issue. E39s have it. Mine's original. I'm surprised it's lasted this long. So we're going to do that. This mirror, cocked. It's got a leak in the seal here. It's slowly getting worse. It's not in the, in the, in the uh, impact. impact. It's not in the visual sight range yet. So I'm not totally worried about it. I'm thinking I'll let it deteriorate through winter and replace that once spring comes. It's like $400 for that piece of glass because it's auto dimmed and it's heated. So we're going to get that done. And after that, unless anything else happens, it's going to be in pretty good shape for a while. Hey, you're working again. Well, I did a dumb thing. I put the flip on a table today where there happened to be some water. And uh, my screen... Yep. As I rotate the camera, I have a lot of a lot of water building up. Like my battery icon right now is submerged in water. <laughs> it's still working. It's been sitting in my bag with the battery out of it. Is it foggy? It kind of looks foggy. Oh, my display is foggy. It's still working, but it's got water now, and hopefully it dries out. So I apologize very much for the lack of footage today. Mowing freaking sucked. Oh my god. I had to. It, the, I drove the mower like 50 feet in the belt came off again and I fixed it and then drove it 10 feet and the belt came off. So I had to come and take the belt tensioner off and pretty much rebuild it with tools I found in my basement or parts and washers and stuff I found in my basement. I've got about 70% working. Okay so I'm thinking the problem is here. The belt is obviously off right now. This is the end where it connects for the blades and then down there's the output shaft from the engine I suppose. So one end goes there, one end goes here, right? Here's the tensioner. Uh, belt is supposed to fit in between this piece here and then this little arm. So you put it in there, that's all great. You hit any sort of a bump in any gear and this thing drops down like that, which then leaves that much room for the belt to slide out. Then it loses all of its tension and flies off. So I need to get this thing to stay up like that. See, that's how it's supposed to be right there. However, I still need a belt for it, so maybe Monday or Tuesday I'll go and buy a belt somewhere for it and then it should work so I really hope that it's back in service now but in over three hours I got the yard done out there past my garage so thank God um, then what did we do? did I go out to dinner? I don't think we ate dinner today because I'm trying to save money um, then we went over to Rosalind's house and the camera wasn't working so I couldn't film any of that but we hung out and it was fun so now we're home it's 2.11 in the morning, my feet hurt, my back hurts, my legs hurt. I'm going to go upstairs and get in bed and try to start catching up on the YouTubes now. Colt made it home, everything went well. He, I just talked to him. He uh, got his work shift done. That was a really fun couple days there. So that's going to be it. Leave me some comments, guys. We'll talk tomorrow, Sunday. Good night.